Councilwoman Brett, would you be so kind as to lead us in the pledge this evening? Sure. Commissioner Brett, sorry. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Thanks everybody for coming. Goldie, good to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. Well, I've been at Coleman for the Ronaldi uh, basketball tournament, which went on from 5 to 9 okay. every day. Oh, wow, how'd it go? So it couldn't come here. Uh, uh, well, I see we're competing for your attention. I know, I know. <laughs> Beautiful. Can I get a uh, well, roll call and a motion to open the meeting? So moved. Okay. Second? Second. All right. Terrific. Uh, Commissioner Brett? Here. Commissioner Salanitro? Here. Uh, Commissioner Rosenberg is uh, excused. Commissioner Pagano? <laughs> Here. And Commissioner Sack is excused. Excused. Yes. And uh, Commissioner Carvin? Yes. Commissioner Carvin is here. All right. We do have a quorum. Wonderful. Okay, uh, can I get uh, any comments, questions on the minutes of December 17th? You want to do the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, we did it. We missed we it. it. Oh, oh, I missed it. I, I apologize. Missed it. We're moving quick today, Bishop. Okay. <laughs> no comments. No comments. Okay. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the minutes of December 17th? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. All right, perfect. Okay, and then the minutes of, uh, now I wasn't here for the March 3rd. I don't know if I'm allowed to vote on the yes, March 3rd. You yes, you are. What is the clarification? We did get a clarification. Do we abstain or what do we do? No, you can vote. We can vote. Yeah, uh, as long as you have a quorum, you can vote to approve the minutes, because all you're doing is approving the document. All right. Uh, that's Thank it. Thank you. We have a reading of Robert's Rules of Order. Oh, that's there we go. Yeah. Fantastic. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes of so, March 3rd? So moved. Second? Yep. All right. And then all in favor? All right. Hey, put me down as yes as well, Bishop. Now that okay. I can vote. Right. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Comments from the public, Goldie. You knew it. <laughs> well, I'll guess. Okay. You know, I'm a, I'm a music lover. I'm good. And you have the greatest concerts of all going on at Oakland Beach. Every year I, I make, try to make time to get there for the concerts, because when you look out over the, from the pavilion, oh my God, at that time sometimes the sun is great, the moon, moon is great, everything is beautiful there. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. But we need as many concerts as possible, and, uh, and that's what I like. I like the concerts. In Porchester, I'm on the entertainment committee. And we have concerts on Wednesday and Friday nights uh, during, uh, I think it's May, June, and July, um, and maybe part of August, I'm not sure, okay? But I feel that if you're going to have concerts on another day, I want to be there because I love music. Music is key. I go with the Porchester High School Band uh, uh, wherever I can, and uh, I go to the jazz band rehearsals, which are on Tuesdays and Thursday nights right now. Uh, sometimes I can go, sometimes I can't, like tonight. I have to be here. I can't be there for it, but I love music, so please, whatever you can do, and whatever he can do, Make sure we have loads of concerts. Thank you much. Thank you so much. Thanks, Colby. Please. Hi, I'm Ann Muller from Friends of Ride Town Park, and where are you going? <coughs> I'm right back. But I'm waiting for you because oh. you weren't here at the last <laughs> All meeting. Right. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do that first. Um, okay, so I'll talk about the benches a little bit. I, I think we're kind of at a standstill with that, Bishop, because I'm we're... Sorry, just, no, 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 that's okay. We're waiting to hear um, installation costs and that sort of thing. So as soon as we've gotten a few, seen from a few companies, I know you've been speaking with Linda about right. it. Right. Right, so... Yep, yep, Linda's keeping us up abreast. Yeah, so as soon as we have some good, viable 
companies to install these benches because it's not it has to be on the blacktop it has you know there's all sorts of things that have to be considered and when do you expect that to happen uh, in any day any, oh beautiful yeah and so we'll day. have them in well i don't know when we'll have the benches in but right. we'll be able to start sending out you know things asking for money for them i know that the commission is going to buy was it five, Bishop? Uh, no, that's what we were planning on. Oh, okay. At the last meeting, the commission was backing away from getting involved in the benches at all. Oh. Uh, they, they didn't want to step on the friends of, of Rytown Park. Oh. I, I don't know. Yeah. You know that was, I, that thought kind of, you, I thought that I thought was approved. approved. No, that, that was approved. The commission was going to buy five of them yeah, to replace yeah, okay. benches right, that fine. people. Because right, we didn't approve the budget. Well, oh, 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 okay, well, let's just. Uh, as I wasn't there, what are the recollections of the? I'm, I'm checking the minutes, but it's. I recall that we approved right. five, the purchase of you five didn't. benches. Right. Okay. I'd ask why we were doing it, uh, whether or not position. we were competing with the friends. Right. But no, but, you're not. You're just like helping. It's all going to the same park. So. How many benches it's overall are we talking about? Twenty. Here? Twenty. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get five. Is that it? Those are the front five. Front five. Right. There, there are five benches that were da have been damaged over the years. That where they've been dedicated, there are plaques that Correct. need to be reinstalled on new benches. Yeah. 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 We committed to doing that. Right. We're working with the friends in terms of the exactly. selection of no, the right that's bench. What I, that's what I thought. I was here right. at yeah. that last. And we did include right. that in the so capital right. plan. And there are also there, there are folks out there that want to donate a bench. And we're hoping to find all of them. Okay. Yeah, so we will do that with the mass mailing. Good. And I'm sure that the commission will um, assist with some uh, startup money maybe for that mailing. Maybe. No, I don't know. Well, okay. So, I mean, that's a thought. Something to keep in mind. But I wasn't going to talk about that. I was going to talk about the movie, which we did talk about at the last meeting. But, Joe, you were not yep. here. I don't believe you were here no, either. I wasn't. So, the date for the movie in the park is July 14th, with the rain date being July 21st. Wonderful. Um, we're going to show The Goonies. And the people from the county that set up the movie generally get there about 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And Fred has already organized by then people to help with the setup. And we just request a little bit of extra <coughs> security maybe for the movie mm -hmm. and extra trash cans, Perfect. What kind of night is that? Do we know? It's going to be a Monday, Monday because night. the other nights were booked. We can't do Tuesdays because of concerts, right. Wednesday, Friday, fireworks. That's yep. not going to work. So Great. we're hoping we'll that... Up. We'll set up and we'll have extra security. Right. Wonderful. We're hoping Great. the volleyball players will come to the movie. Wonderful. Well, kids. At least we're hoping they wash out so you have yeah. parking. Yeah, well, that too. So I'm hoping the parking will be reduced as it was last year after 6, I believe it is. Um, anyway, I will meet with Terry and Fred and Bill before Excellent. then and ask if we could have the people in the booth for the parking lot hand out the flyers like they did last year. That went beautifully. Beautiful. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so, and we'll have some entertainment for the kids, but oh, terrific. at this second, I'm not sure. I'll have to be. make sure I get my kids there then. I hope you Goldie, do. Goldie, would you please remind me July 14th? Yeah. There may be music, <laughs> Goldie. Um, okay, so Thank you, Anna. Thanks so much, Anna. Thanks again for all your help, Dan. I appreciate you coming tonight. Yeah. Appreciate the support from the friends. Okay, I don't see any more public, so I suggest, I'm expecting there's no more comments from the public. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, um, I think I'd like to propose we go right into the budget. Sure. Let's do it. I think that's the weighty issue we have for this evening, and um, appreciate your holding off until I got here to, to finalize this. Uh, Bishop, you want to sort of present, I mean, what I'm looking at is, uh, you know, and then if you pick up, but basically what I'm looking at here is a increase in revenues. Uh, yeah, uh, this because well, let me just go ahead and uh, briefly tie that. If you go into more detail, and we'll take on questions. I know Commissioner Brett would, uh, kindly uh, shared some of her questions with us uh, by email earlier today. I know we'll talk about those. Uh, but basically, you know, we're going for eight hundred ninety-one thousand dollars in revenues this year as opposed to about 850 last year uh, and 890 the year before. Uh, and I think the increases largely do, as you indicate in your notes here, uh, due to better anticipated weather. And I know Mayor Pagano has committed to provide that weather for us. <laughs> Anything I can do, Joe. <laughs> 
And I guess just the last thing before we get to questions is remind the, the commission that, you know, this is unlike any other budget that we do. What we can control are costs, but we can't even, uh, Mayor Pagano's best efforts notwithstanding, we, we, we cannot control the weather. And so what we're really trying to do is focus on the costs and keeping them in line and in control. Uh, and uh, we do present here a balanced budget uh, before capital expenditures, I should add. And then the, the capital expenditures of $112,000 over and above that. So um, I know Council uh, Commissioner Brett, you had some questions, uh, and uh, this is a first go at it. So you know, let's open up for questions and comments. Sure. Um, my my question really related to um, there's an increase in salaries indicated this year for a couple different pay levels. It looks like or different. Uh, um, for the administrative staff, it looks like for the directors, and I guess for lifeguards. And I know that some of this is built in because of the increase in the minimum wage. Uh, not for those two categories. Not yet. Okay. All right. So that, when will when I, I guess my questions really relate to. So let me just start from the beginning. I know that we haven't we've had a wage freeze since uh, I can remember since I've been aware of what's going on at the park because there's been a lot of effort made to control expenses and um, and make sure that we have a, a reasonable expense. In, in mind, so that we, uh, these unanticipated weather events or things on the in, on the uh, income side don't set us back too much. So I know that there's that this this commission has been very disciplined since before I was on the commission. Um, my concern about wage increases this year really stems from what you flagged for us, I think, last year about this time, which is or maybe a little later in this year, that the state has uh, approved minimum wage increases, which won't impact us immediately, but will impact us in the future. So that's where my concerns arise when we talk about giving increases now because we know that I think next year's budget will see some of the impact of the minimum wage increases. Is that correct? Well, um, yes and no, really. I mean, the, the first, the state wage increase uh, becomes effective this year. It goes from seven twenty-five to eight dollars. Doesn't have an impact on us because we have always had a minimum wage of eight dollars at the park, always. Uh, next year it will go up to eight fifty, eight seventy-five, and eventually stop at nine dollars two or three years from now. So what we tried to do was look at that and recognize that that was going to put some pressure on us in terms of employees. Uh, I don't know how other businesses are going to react, but certainly, you know, people will, may have other choices, have more money. You know what people will do for 25 cents an hour. Uh, so, uh, to that extent, uh, there is some impact. On the management staff side and the lifeguard staff, those people start at much higher rates than $8 an hour. They're not impacted by the minimum wage at all, all right? However, it's the management staff that has not really seen any increases, and it's the management staff that, in my mind, uh, has, has been instrumental in getting us where we are today in terms of, you know, working very hard to try and, if you look at, just look at wages over the past uh, uh, six or seven years, and you'll see that we've, you know, reduced total wages each and every year all the way uh, till 2012. So uh, we think we're at the right level, and we think now is the time to perhaps. How much? How much is the increase? Uh, how much? Uh, we talked earlier this afternoon. How much? Uh, well, without getting out? into every specific employee, no, yeah, since twelve thousand dollars, twelve thousand oh, no, dollars. No, no, you're talking dollars. about seven thousand dollars total. So seven thousand dollars amongst how many? Well, yes. uh, the problem is, is it's spread in a different right. way. Okay. If you uh, look at the memo that I put together. Um, a couple of people will get uh, two, three percent raises. Mm -hmm. That's we're talking about the, the the what I would call the management staff. The rest of them, the increases are built in, or what we hope to do is is build them in over the four year span that we typically have an employee. We get a high school kid that comes in, we start him at eight dollars. What we're saying is is when he if that person comes back in year two, they'll come back at eight fifty. If he comes back in year three, he'll come back at 875. And if he comes back for his you know, senior year in high school, he'll make $9 an hour. So we will be lockstep with the minimum wage requirements. So part of the increase is attributable to that? 
part of it. You know, I'm saying. at the lower level. It's that. But, so okay, Joe, I'm just I'm just trying to put things in perspective. Right. Uh, so, if we had no increase, we'd save seven thousand dollars. Right. Okay. And do you have any sense of how much of the, the incremental increase is the, uh, the about thirty five hundred dollars? So half the increase is is is, is trying to create uh, loyalty and retain. It, that's it's going that right? to the senior. Yeah, more of the senior staff. Well, no. Okay. Well. So 35 to senior staff, and half to senior staff, half to the... And half is going to the employees that come back each year, recognizing right. that they're a little bit more experienced, they're a little bit more mature. Right. Theoretically, we're getting a little bit better effort from them. Right. Okay. So, Bishop, your 4.5% your increase, for example, with the guards, um, that represents different tiers, entry level to your... Let's call the senior person. Sure. A senior person. Uh, so, uh, That's what the step up is. Right. Uh, an entry level uh, lifeguard starts at ten dollars an hour. How is that going? If, uh, if they have certain certifications, if they have like an EMT certification or a first aid certification, they may make eleven dollars. But if a guard is coming back for his second year, he's going to be at ten fifty. If he comes back for his third year, he'll be at ten seventy five, et cetera. <laughs> So, so we're, we're trying to do that so that there is a little bit of progression. And at the same time, at the fourth year, once you're there for four years, you're not going to get any more increases. So just because the job isn't worth any more. Mm -hmm. So just to be clear, right now we don't do that. We don't have a That's history correct. of that. Second-year lifeguards get paid the same as first-year lifeguards. Uh, there's no, no, because typically the lifeguards get extra training. Okay, so right, so typically they're they're adding their they're they're adding their first aid or they're adding their EMT or, or okay. what have you. But if they didn't add those things, they yes, would they would they would okay. be remaining flat. Um, and second year cashiers or attendants get paid the same as first. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Bishop, how, how competitive are we in the marketplace for guards? Uh, if you levels? listen to lifeguard captain we're Mark Casada, we're not. We're not. Yeah. Uh, we we have never fallen short of lifeguards. Well, one uh, year we had to uh, we had to increase uh, in season. We lost three or four. Right. Yeah. Really? And so we had to increase in season. Uh, and uh, you know, I the one strong team we inherited was the lifeguard team, and we've been very careful uh, to keep that team because you have uh, you know men down there, men and women down there that've been there twenty, thirty years, mm -hmm. uh, and so we want to keep that team intact. Uh, and contented, mm -hmm. um, and so we don't want to fall short. But we are, even with the increase we have in, in, in put in place, uh, we're below like Playland, I think. Well, I think uh, Westchester the private well, clubs pay more. I was going to say significantly right. below. I think. Yeah. I think the going rate for a lifeguard is is significantly higher. Right. Yeah. yeah. Remember, our lifeguard range runs from ten dollars an hour for a, a brand new person, uh, all the way up to I think the. Um, Lifeguard uh, certifier trainer. Uh, in this case, it's Bob Small. I think is nineteen dollars an hour. He's been with us for you know like fifteen years. Okay. Uh, so uh, and we have a number of them senior guards in between there at fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Yeah, I, I guess my I, I think it's very it's a, obviously an excellent question. We've been tight on expenses. I think for seven thousand dollars to try and begin to retain some employee loyalty and that kind of thing. I, I'm not suggesting it's not money well spent. I just sure. think we need to think about the fact that next year, whether we want to or not, our expenses for staff will go up. Why is that? Because the, that's when the minimum wage increases will start to impact our minimum wage level jobs on here. But well, we're proposing it to, it's going to impact you this year. So, but, but just for well, second year. year well, for example, uh, what we if a second if a ca cashier comes in that worked last year and a, that cashier comes back, we're proposing that that person will get a fifty cent an hour no, no, kick. But Commissioner Brett is suggesting, but I'm not sure. Well, I'll, 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 what's the minimum wage going to be next right. year? Next year it'll go to eight fifty, I think. We're way above it. I'm saying, how are we? How's that going to impact us? It's not. Because right. next year we'll be at eight fifty. So, but only for second years. So everybody's going to have to be. Everyone's right. going to have to. Right. 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 Yeah. The worst case is yes. fifty cent. So to that, right. to that extent, you're absolutely right, and I don't have that number in my head. But the, the first year people, to give you an idea, we have about a sixty-five percent return rate on on you know our employees. So you know thirty, roughly thirty percent of our employees are, are new. That translates to about twenty-five of them. Uh, and uh, we can we can probably do a little bit of math uh, on, on that and, and say that 
50 cents an hour on, on uh, we have 10,000 hours, that's uh, da, 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 about, uh, I'm going to say $1,750 is, is going to be your impact, purely minimum wage impact next year, pure right. minimum wage. And then two years off, it'll... It, it'll it'll, it'll it raise again, yeah. right. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, that's the only thing I wanted to make the commission aware of, is that sure. we have some built-in increases that are coming up in the future. Right. So as we as we undertake this budget, we should just be aware of that. Well, sure. the first one last year's budget, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, is the, uh, the way management controlled expenses. And when things went south and when they got bad and they got really bad, I was really impressed with the way you managed expensive payroll particularly. And I think that was no easy task. Cutting hours when uh, you're on top of it. Bad days or not so bad days, cutting back on the hours. That's how we stay on top of it. The day to day. Thing. Yeah, to add to that, you know, the senior staff members are not hourly. They're they're pretty much they're fixed. Yeah, they're fixed. They're salaried. When you when you look at the hours they put in, they're probably making less than the people that are working <laughs> <laughs> uh, For a management, I can tell you that's an absolute truth. Yeah. So there's a, there's, a, there's a significant dedication to the job that, as Mayor Pagano said, shows in the results of how you guys are managing. So um, it is money well spent, and I, I'm, I'm in favor of it. Uh, Bishop, you're showing a 7% decrease in uh, benefits. Uh, most of the hit looks like, or uh, most of the, uh, well, it's, it's the cost of unemployment insurance. Unemployment, is that based right. on an arrangement we have or would have with the, or is that a similar well, arrangement we have with no, the what's happen claims? Right. What's happening is uh, uh, the, uh, if you'll see the 0.041% of payroll, right. all right, that's a fixed formula that we have. Mm -hmm. Uh, last year, uh, we were still being uh, ex exhibiting uh, residual unemployment expenses relating to prior year years. claims. Right. So there's this lag as, as people go through the system because they get 26 weeks, and if the federal extension applies to them, they get another 26 weeks. So some of these people have been on unemployment for uh, a bit longer than you would normally do, and we've had to carry the bill. Since then, what we did was we segregated right now Park as a separate business, got its own tax ID number. We no longer run it uh, through the town. Uh, you know, Wrighttown Park uh, pays its own uh, payroll and everything else, and consequently, we were able to get its own unemployment account. So we put Wrighttown Park in the insurance pool, which is the fixed rate at, at the 4.1 percent. So we're confident that that's going to be the number. I, I, I mean, there might not be an outlier uh, unemployment claim, but you know that'll add to it. But it'll be small. Now, are these seasonal that we're talking about? Uh, these are seasonal employees. That's now, what about the arrangement I was reading about uh, for seasonal employees? Uh, an understanding, perhaps, of, the, of uh, regarding on uh, illegal. Unemployment. It is. It is illegal. It, I, it's, it's, I, can, I can ask. So the, according to the unemployment uh, uh, office, uh, if people meet the qualifications for unemployment which is working a set number of hours within a quarter, right. they qualify regardless whether they are seasonal employees or full-time employees or part-time employees. But they have to meet that certain number of hours. Now, we've tried to control that to some degree, but in some of these jobs, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you have a maintenance man, you're working a maintenance man a full day. <coughs> you're not going to work them part-time. You need those skills to be available for you and so forth. So we have those kinds of things. Uh, same thing in terms of uh, our senior staff. Our senior staff all work, uh, you know, full days and then some. Um, you know, so it's, it's that type of thing. We try to discourage it to the best we can. But again, uh, it is illegal not to allow them to claim. Our leader has left us. I noticed that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Abandoned us. Yeah. <laughs> we don't no, have a deputy leader. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and you can see, for example, in the, the operations and maintenance, you know, almost all of those costs, we, we know those costs. We have them down pretty solidly now after a few years. So we know what the beach bands cost us, for example, uh, those, those kinds of things, what the beach supplies uh, cost uh, for the lifeguards. Yeah, uniforms. 
you know, those kinds of things. So that, that's a, a, a very easy portion uh, to budget. Our, our biggest problem in past years has been unemployment until we've made this change. Now we think we're, we're going to be in good shape. Good. No uh, questions? Yeah, one more, Joe. Uh, under the administrative, again, uh, Bishop, uh, yep. professional fees, we're still we're carrying 62000 on, on that cert. Is that the... Uh, Yes, that includes Suicide Johnny Cert. Well, that's not all of the Cert case. I mean, that in, that includes the uh, lawyer. accountant. That includes the basic lawyer fees. Okay. That includes okay. my, you know, my cost. Uh, and there is an extra pad in there for the Cert case. Okay. <coughs> and that's for the appeal. That's the appeal. The, the original part. Yeah. The original Cert case was done uh, pro bono. Okay. All right, but when Rye City appealed it uh, at that particular point. There were extra legal costs that had to be uh, considered. Great. Other questions? I do want to talk about the capital budget as well. Yep. Uh, and so, if there's no other questions on the operating budget, and again, look, we have to monitor this. And, uh, well, let me take this uh, opportunity again to commend staff for the same thing uh, we've been talking about. One, the dedication. It's great to see. Um, Fred and Bill every year out here working hard, Terry. We've got a good team in place, completely dedicated, you know, dedicated to the Proven Park every year, and we're continuing to try and do that. So thank you. And uh, I think the Mayor Pagan is absolutely right. We did a terrific job last year in a, an environment where we had didn't have terrific weather to, you know, really uh, keep costs down as much as possible. And so. Uh, now, the capital budget, uh, I presume you guys are involved in, in working with Bishop to draft this capital budget, so maybe you guys want to go up to the mic. Uh, let's talk about the whole need. I think it's worth just going through the whole need, the 417000 uh, I, I know uh, we may even, you know, look, well, we'll figure out where we end up, but I, I think it's important to talk about the whole need. It, I've got it here, Fred, if you yeah, want it. Yeah, uh, it. Copy, if you need a copy. It's at the very end. It's at the very end of the... Um, the very last two pages of the budget section. One page. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's a, a cover basically page a listing. Okay, yeah, there, you can use mine if you want. What is it, uh, our yeah. Well, I'm just trying to understand. Uh, well, we could go through. I just want you guys to be able to comment on them. So we have lighting for $35,000. Um, uh, so, and we're putting that off. So we're not, we're not doing that this year. Yeah, we got it right here. So we got thirty-five thousand dollars in lights this year, and 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 uh, who, who 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 came up with priority in B A and B? Is that uh, a consensus between the three of you guys, or for the most part, it's, it's all been a consensus. All right. So so the lighting, where where we you, you talk about right need li fixed lighting. lighting around the, uh, the is this lighting new lighting, <laughs> new lighting to go around the duck pond. Right. Uh, if you. The, the duck pond has very little lighting on it, except uh, where it's closest to the bathroom. On, on the left-hand side of the duck pond, I've been trying to figure <laughs> ways, even having people sponsor a light for someone that uh, might have passed away. So we've been working on a way to do that, because it's totally dark there at night. And what we do to light the way is we send our carts over there, the security cards and keep their lights on. Now, just let me understand why why is that why is it important that it be lit? Is it people walking across there at night at fireworks night? Help me understand. Help the people. It's, exit. it's exiting traffic. Right. Exiting traffic and people walking across. So, um, it it's a safety issue. Right. And on the Fourth of July, we bring in uh, our own lighting to light up that whole area. Because you absolutely need it. That need it. Day. Yeah, we rent portable lighting. Huh. Okay, well, let's go through all the needs and come back and see how we want to prioritize. So the ADIA compliant foot ramp, well, I'm just waiting to fall on that ramp and, and break my, <laughs> all my, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, we all know it needs work. For five years we've been proposing it. Right, and uh, and you got, we're putting it in for this year. And 64,000, how, how? confident are we of that number? Well, we're, we're, we don't have a, an actual architectural uh, um, validation of the number. Uh, there was a discussion at the last meeting, and we were going to uh, redraw it. We were going to ask... Uh, well, Ken Casada is giving Kisada me... Casada did yeah. a very good... Yeah, have you seen those? That's one of the plans right, that was good. considered. All right, good. Yeah. Because he put um, a lot of hard work, and I want to make sure we were looking at it. No, I think... Uh, Personally, I think that's the design we should use. Okay. You know, 
eventually when we start getting kids. Um, but I'm prepared that even if we uh, start after the season starts, that we can handle it from the south gate while they're working on that. It should be a couple weeks' work uh, if if we can't get it done prior to. So that's an right. important aspect of the safety of that park. All right. So we we got another important now the bathroom building. Oh, these are, is this a subtotal the hundred ninety thousand? Well, the, we're, we're, we're looking at proposing uh, priority A jobs only. And, and All right, well, I'm sorry, but I'm just saying 190000 didn't make even priority didn't A or B. Priority <laughs> B. <laughs> well, because it's... We because we can it's patch, expensive. and we've been patching we've been that patched. roof. If you, if you look at that roof, you will see that it has been patched probably... It's not the roof, just to be absolutely clear to the people at home that all we built a roof to nowhere. This is a roof in a different building, correct? That's roof. correct. All right. It's an actual roof. <laughs> this is, the, uh, this a, is where... A tree um, fell Probably two to three thousand people uh, uh, utilize uh, right. every week. every weekend. The bathrooms. Yes. The bathrooms. Right. Okay. There are only leaks when it rains, though, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> when it pours. <laughs> and there's no one at the beach when it rains. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's right. Good thinking. No, we need to All right. So that's not either A or B building. priority. Okay. Replace middle booth. Yeah, Which one's the middle booth? That's the Next one to closest to Seaside Johnny's. Yeah, and why do we need to replace that? Well, because <laughs> if we're going to be doing ramp work there anyway, we're going to displace that booth. That booth has been giving us trouble. Uh, it's an old uh, steel building. It's made out of metal and is about 110 degrees in there on a sunny day. Uh, it uh, has had a leaky roof. We have had electrical problems in it. Uh, you know, our feeling here is, is that if you are going to redo the ramp, that's the perfect time to now reposition the booth, move it a little bit away from the Seaside restaurant, uh, and put a, a what I would call a brand new professional, uh, uh, you know, a professional booth. booth. Uh, similar to the other booths we have. All right, we got two golf courts, carts. Um, now, how many golf carts do we have now? Four. That currently work. Yeah, they uh, off and on during the season. We need two more. No. Well. Two to replace, two that uh, are on their last legs. Bishop keeps keeps saying that they have years to go, but they break down on us. We frequently. we uh, and and this is where we disagree sometimes, and and it's not a big disagreement. Uh, we brought a new mechanic in uh, to work on the uh, carts last year. Um, a couple of the carts were actually overhauled, you know, with new carburetors and things of that nature. Uh, our feeling here is is that the carts will run much more reliably. However, the undercarriage of the carts, remember these things are probably 20 years old, 15 to 20 years old, the undercarriage is starting to wear. So all of a sudden now you've got, you know, where your suspension is loose. Those kinds of things may not be reparable. Uh, and we w are planning to say we have to have some kind of planned uh, replacement. Now, the, now what you, so in terms of the budget, you've expensed it? As of right now, no. We've, uh, we've expensed the maintenance. What's the $5,000? The $5,000 is, is to buy... So where's, but where's the money coming from? Right. Well, my question oh, is... It's an expense item, though. Right. Why? You, no, wait, no we, we repaired them. We did not no, buy... No, but I'm just saying the... the this is a budget, correct? Yes. So, did you? It looks. At, I would have thought the way you set this up that you put this in your operating budget. If it's not in your operating budget, that's fine. But we need to know that, obviously. No, uh, it, uh, it cart maintenance is in our operating budget of five thousand dollars, but not new uh, cart. Right, but not the purchase of a new cart. So I can get. I think we should change the title of that column. Then it shouldn't be expense. It should be what. I don't understand what that was. Yeah, that I don't was understand what that title is. an expense item rather than a capital item, but Unfunded, okay. but necessary? In my head, I'm just getting a That's pass. probably for service. In my head, that's, that's the discussion. As I said, we disagreed on this. And in my head, I was saying, no, we're going to maintain the ones we have. And that's why I moved that over to the expense side. What does the expense column mean? Right, because there are other things right. in there. Well, let's go to the next one and we can figure it out. Well, turnstile repairs, what is that? Again, that's the, we have uh, two or three turnstiles, you know, the original park turnstiles that no longer function. And one of the things we were going to try and do is to see if we couldn't bring somebody in to repair those. These are so, exit turnstiles. So they do function. Mm -hmm. 
We, we actually uh, went to the uh, Perry Turnstile, the original people on that, and we got some estimates. It's fairly expensive. So we've had one turnstile just totally closed. Well, why do we have a turnstile anyway? So people so can people exit without you having to without people watch them, them. Yeah, without you having to, to uh, have security person there. They exit the beach, and, we, and they prevent people from entering the beach when there's nobody, uh, no uh, cashier there or <coughs> security. Right. It only goes in one direction. Right. Yeah. It only goes in one direction. Also right. for the convenience of the customer because they don't have to walk so far to go out. Right. right. You're a, a North Beach like person. In North Beach, area you come so off, crowded. you can get out, but you can't get back in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, because like once you've closed the beach, yeah. right. you close, close the six, the yeah. yes. they can't go in? That's no. correct. They have to go to the middle. Now, in between your north gate and your middle gate, there is a turnstile there, which was used as an exit from the beach, but we can't because it's, All right. it's so, repairing. So this is turnstile maintenance, is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah. and, and what we're looking at is, is, I just said, no, that's not really a capital item, that's really more a maintenance item. All right, and then, then you have sand for the beach erosion? Yeah, I I didn't see that as capital. I, I you know I'll, I'll yield to somebody who might uh, uh, be more uh, uh, experienced at this. But uh, you know I was looking at it saying, okay, you're replenishing sand. Well, just uh, talking in terms of the need. But that could be a capital. We had a lot of complaints on the sand last year, didn't we? Yeah. We did. Uh, yes, we did. Yes. Ever since these last couple of hurricanes uh, over the last few years, we we've, we've <coughs> lost some sand. All right, and then finally, tables and chairs for pavilions. That's uh, renew. Um, Every year we lose a couple or a few. Uh, yeah, from damage. So, uh, yeah. so it seems to me that you're you're basically the twenty eight thousand nine hundred fifty that incorporates the sand, the turnstile repairs, and the, and the new chairs. That's sort of maintenance expenditures. What you're saying? Yeah, that's what we're calling it. Yeah. Right. So therefore, it should be in the operating budget. If it's not in the operating budget, it should be. If you're saying these are maintenance ongoing expenditures that you make every year, mm -hmm. then they should be part of the operating budget. And you're right to put it in the expense column. Yes. They're not capital expenditures. But they could they could be capital. Well, okay, but then you don't then take it out of the expense column so and put it prior to the end. I understand. I, I you can't, <laughs> that's But these, right these items are currently not in the operating budget that, though, right? Uh, with the exception of, of the other cart maintenance, okay. they're they're not in there. But you know, for example, the cart maintenance is, is really the five thousand is for two new the two used carts at twenty five. Right. So that number each. seems that inflated. technically is a capital number. Right. 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 So that okay, so let's do something. Let's take the five Five thousand and put it in priority eight for discussion purposes. Eight, okay. Right, the five thousand for cart mate, and then then make the twenty eight thousand nine hundred fifty should be twenty three thousand nine hundred fifty. Yep. And again, I don't I don't know if anybody has a strong view on another whether these are capital or. I guess the sand doesn't go away, does it? It's not an annual expense. It only goes away when when uh, Hurricane Sandy comes by. We're down to. So let's put the cap. Let's put the sand in, in priority eight as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the we, do we, I'm sorry, just quickly no, before we sure. move on. Please. Do we have any sand in the in the budget for this year? No. No. No sand. Um, and did we we didn't get any sand from the federal government? No. Okay. Nor last year. Because we don't have a sand survey or something, right? Right. We, don't, we don't have the... Okay. Where Playland did, okay. and they were able to, to get FEMA money. <clears throat> but I can say this, that what our product is the beach. And if the beach isn't comfortable for the people that come you bet they'll go to other beaches That's true. so we're on the on the south side of the beach we're down to pebbles below the pebbles is rock so we're down to pebbles so people are walking on pebbles and we're getting quite a quite a bit of uh complaints <coughs> uh daily so let's okay so we so that's a priority, yeah. Uh, in my mind, I would say. Right. So let's get, well, we're going to come back to all this. Just want yeah. to get just to understand it. So the seventeen thousand two hundred comes a priority A. Golf carts are priority A. The uh, turnstile repairs. It sounds like maintenance to me. Yeah, that's. And then the tables and chairs. I guess that's maintenance. Yeah, that's we could go either way with that. What are we thinking? Does anybody care one way or another? With the chairs, the chairs, tables, and chairs. It's too small to be a capital. All right. So okay, good. So we're going to have six thousand seven hundred fifty, mm -hmm. 
as our maintenance expenses, you get to add those to the operating budget budget, Bishop, make sure they get in there. Wait, 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 so right wait. now we'll have a loss of 600750 based on the existing numbers. Unless you tweak the revenues. <laughs> Okay. There goes the race. Yeah, right. Come on, be careful. Is that what we don't do anymore? <laughs> don't, 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 go to the high end on those two projections on your averages. <laughs> okay. No, I'm saying no, they, so we're, we're minus six seven five right now. It's right? right. Are you with me? And then yeah. the 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 capex are going to go up to what is that going to be? One thirty four two. All right, one thirty four two. All right, now now the discussion. Now we have the discussion in terms of what to put in the capital. What to put in the capital budget. And all these are, you know, uh, priorities. And in fact, quite frankly, the thirty-five thousand for lighting is also, you know, if it's security based, is 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 you know, where is made to have that, you know, dark recess. <clears throat> What's this replacement middle booth again? Sorry. That's the oh, okay. middle oh, yeah. booth, right. which if we're going to redo the whole right. um, middle ramp, right. Uh, right. it's the perfect time to replace it. What that about booth? the security camera system? Let's talk about that for two seconds. Uh, okay. We're going to talk about that later anyway, right? Uh, yeah, we have the so RF, this sample so of the RFP. Is let's attached. talk about this. What are, what are we trying to do here? The security cameras? Yeah. Uh, we're talking about... You will, you will, you will cooperate? Well, you know, we, we've, ha we've had... Uh, we've we had, have seen you everywhere. We've, we've had... <laughs> we've had <laughs> we have had vandalism. Bishop will find you and he will... <laughs> he will hunt you down. We've had, we've had prison, prison. <laughs> All right. No, actually, I think I understand. Look, we've had a lot of vandalism. Do we know how much it cost us? You know, I mean, last year, last year it cost us very little because we had very little. Right. Uh, a couple of years ago, we were probably in the six to seven thousand dollar range. Uh, we've had people break into well, the they, booths. They wrecked. Our, they broke into. Yeah, I, I think the decision. Okay, so in computer. terms of a priority year, <laughs> they broke in into other words, booth and, and if I was going to save on twenty five thousand, I'd rather I'd rather save on the security camera than the lights almost. Well, at the uh, interim uh, commissioner of Villanova was uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. Uh, Deputy uh, Supervisor Villanova, I know this is a nice and very dear to your heart. <laughs> he's, been, he's done very well for us at Crawford Park. The question is, and, and so look, it's up to the board. Uh, 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 look, picture. I'm reluctant to put it. The, the light raises some questions for me about the neighborhood impacts and whether or not that's been fully explored and what kind of lighting we're putting in and whether or not that's going to impact the neighbors who abut the park. So uh, that's something to me that I think needs to be looked at. And when we're specifically talking about the kind of lighting that goes in there. Same as the rest. Bollard lighting or uh, lamp lighting? No, it's, it's the, the historic lamp lighting that we or have. the town and countries? Park. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they aren't, they wouldn't impact the neighbors because we have lighting all over. But this is further up towards Forest Avenue. No, this is right on actually, the pond. This is, this is somewhat depressed. It's, it's actually lowered down because it's, it's very, you know, it's literally right around the pond area. So it's that roadway, it's, it's lighting that no, roadway. No, I, I, know, I, know, yeah. I know the park. I mean, I, I know what you're talking about. So as a result, I, I, it is closer to forest, but it's actually lower, lower down than a lot of the park is. Yeah. I would also say that if you have Ann Muller here. I know. And Ann lives right there. <laughs> so we live along Ride Beach Avenue, right. Avenue want more light, not less. So is that right, I would think that the people living on forest would feel the same way. It's going to be. Yeah. Is that right? They want more. You would think. I, oh, I don't. I don't. I would like them on more. I mean, the, they're so irregular, the on, the off. But I have one that's right outside, right across from my house. It doesn't bother me. Okay. I'm glad that it's on when it's on. Okay. That's helpful. That's helpful. Thank you. So okay, well, look, so we we should cut those back from six to three <laughs> even. You know, it seems that if lighting is an issue, and it sounds like it may be, um, in my mind, I'm looking at an ADA compliant room. To me, that's that's critical. ADA, that's what does ADA stand for? American, uh, for American Disability, 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 Act. Disability Act. And if that spend is then tied in with the uh, uh, with the booth, you're looking at uh, 80, right? 80, 97 yeah. grand. Yeah. Uh, 80 grand on that. My next priority in my mind would be the sand. Mm -hmm. If we can't make that beach attractive for, and a place for people to come back, I don't want to sit on pebbles. Yep. I think this is a creature comfort that we really need. So ADA compliant, the sand, and then depending on your your priority with the lighting, uh, those would be my choices, uh, Joe. 
Uh, I'd hold off on uh, even the security camera. I'd hold off. Commissioner Salonicho? To the question I was saying, you have, is 400 yards enough? It seems very low. You probably can use a thousand yards. I, I would say yes. Gee whiz. Well, this is this is the equivalent of ten uh, trailer loads of sand. No, I I know what it looks like. I'm You're just saying, right. but I'm looking at the beach. You know, right. you, you'll you, <clears throat> this will disappear. Need, no, it's just.